What is up everyone, Jeremy here. Welcome to another video in the Tone Sample series. In this video, we are checking out the Christian Cola Signature IR Pack from Bulgren Digital with the incredible name of Rainbows and Chainsaws. For those who may not be familiar with Christian Cola, he is a metal music producer and YouTuber from Germany who has worked with some of the biggest names in metal, which include Powerwolf, Eskimo Callboy, Aborted, just to name a few. So this pack features 13 studio IRs perfectly suited for modern metal, as well as 15 filthy IRs, which are perfect for the more extreme genres such as death metal, black metal, and of course your warm and vintage doom. So of course there is an absolutely massive tonal palette in this pack and we are going to go ahead and just jump into an audio sample that I've dusted off from a few months ago that's got some pretty gnarly riffs in it. So I figured it would go really well with this pack. So let's go ahead and jump into the audio. All right, here we are in the DAW. I've got the audio sample up and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and play through the whole thing. It's not very long, uh, just to acquaint you with the audio sample and the different riffs in it. And as you can see for this audio sample, I'm using the Neural DSP Archetype Gojira. Both of these are using the very first IR, which comes in the Rainbows folder in this pack. So there's the Rainbows and Chainsaws. So I just selected the very first IR in the Rainbows folder called modern standard this is both on the left and the right channel so i'm just going to go ahead and play this we'll listen to this one all the way through then we'll circle back i'll solo one of these put it right up the middle and we'll just kind of click through the irs and listen to the, some of these and if we find one we dig we'll go ahead and just listen to it in the mix so here is the entire audio sample All right, that is the audio sample and of course the first IR in the pack. And as you can hear, it sits really well in this mix already without touching anything else, just dropping the IR in. So as I said before, let's go ahead and just take one of these guitar tracks. Uh, we'll take the left channel here. We'll just center it right up the middle. And I'm just gonna go ahead and play this back and I'm gonna loop a shorter section of this track just so we can kind of listen to this somewhat similar guitar part so it doesn't change up on us too much. And then uh, I'll just flip through some of this pack. We'll hear what it sounds like. If I land on something I'm digging, we'll go ahead and, and split it to left and right and listen to it into the full mix again and just kind of hear what it sounds like in context. So here we go. That one kind of sounds throaty. So this one's called Into the Old School Clouds. That's probably the most unique tone that I've heard so far. Most of them sound really, really good. There's only like 
maybe slight differences in all the ones I've heard so far. You can tell there's some different, like maybe uh, miking happening there. Some of them had a slightly darker tone than others, but this one definitely sounds more throaty to me. Um, I'm gonna assume there's probably maybe a different cab, different speaker happening here, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and listen to this one here, Into the Old School Clouds in context and see what this sounds like. So I'm gonna change up the right one. Into the Old School Clouds is now left and right. Let's make my left track back on the left and not centered anymore. And then here it is in context. Yeah, that sounds incredible. All right, let's uh, let's keep rolling in the uh, in this rainbows pack here, and just kind of see what the rest of these sound like. That one's got a pretty good bite to it. Let's see, this is bulldozer death. <laughs> Oh my God, that's, if there's one thing I, I love about these Bogger and Digital packs, it's, it's the names. I mean, you see the, <laughs> the, name, the name of this one is incredible. I love it. That one kind of sounds a little bit more throaty, like mid rangey too, Gent Parade. Let's go ahead and uh, let's listen to this one in the in the mix, in the context. Kind of see what that sounds like. I'm digging this one too. So let's see here. Here we go. This is in context. Oh my gosh, yeah, that sounds amazing. All right, moving on. Let's uh, try to finish out these rainbow pack here. Let's see, there's like a few left. Oh my gosh. Gosh, that sounds gnarly in a good way. That sounds incredible. So raw yet well done. So let's go ahead and listen to this in our mix and see what so raw yet well done sounds like. It's almost the last one, second to last one. So here we go. This is in context. I mean, already I can tell that's that's my favorite by far. So like that out of this pack so far, that is absolutely crushing. Let me move it back here and see what it sounds like this ladder section. Unbelievable. Damn, that sounds good. Holy crap. I think I maybe just found my, my new favorite IR. Oh man, that is incredible. All right, let's hear this last one. Soloed here. So let's see. This uh there's only one more in this Rainbows pack. Transatlantic Super Band. This is it. <laughs> Another one that's got some really good bite to it. All right, so that is the Rainbows pack and a few of them uh, in, in context there. So let's go ahead and jump to what they are describing as the more extreme Chainsaws pack. So let's check these out. All right, I've got the Chainsaws pack queued up and ready to go. 
We're just going to go ahead. I'm not going to play the entire audio sample, maybe just the first maybe four to eight bars or so. Um, but this is the very first one in the pack. It is called 100 Watt Razor Blade. We're just going to go ahead and jump right in and listen to this one. It's the same on left and the right channels. We're going to listen to it in context. And then just as before, we'll solo one, one guitar track up the middle and just kind of flip through some of these and see what they sound like. So here we go with 100 Watt Razor Blade in context. Damn, do you hear how that is just screaming? I mean, that is just cutting through this mix like crazy. All right, so I think that's enough in context here. I just kind of want to solo this and see what this thing sounds like. So here it is, soloed. So I mean, just out of the first one in the pack, you can hear how different these IRs sound from like the more standard modern metal pack. There's, these are definitely sounding more extreme and, and I have a feeling it's gonna get even more extreme as we get into this pack. So that was 100 watt metal. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and switch to the next one. I mean, do you hear how much the tone changed just from the three, the first three IRs in this pack? Like the tonal palette and possibility out of this pack already is just insane. And we haven't even scratched the surface of what's in this chainsaws pack. So let's keep going and see what's in here. All right, this has to be black metal. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I heard that, I'm like, this has to be black metal. And of course, it's the, it's labeled black metal magic. I mean, listen to the bite in that. That's incredible. All right, let's keep going. All right, I'm digging this one dark and raw crunch so let's go ahead and let's just listen to this one in context and see what this sounds like let's see dark and raw crunch all right bring this back to the left here it is God, it's so insanely good. All right, let's listen to this uh, this this latter this like last part of this because this is kind of where it drops down and, and really starts playing on more of the seven string stuff and those lower notes. So I kind of want to hear this. God, it's so good. All right. Let's uh, kind of truck through the last few in this pack, see what we've got here. Solo this again, and let's keep going. I'm digging that one, Throaty Savage. That, that sounds really good. As you can tell, I like the... Th I dig the throaty tones. All right, that's the last one in the chainsaws pack sludge tunnel and it sounds pretty incredible too so let's do this one as the last one in our in our full mix here and see what it sounds like 
Let's add it to our right channel, sludge tunnel, and here it is. Incredible. All right, let's do this last section here with the lower seven string part. Incredible, y'all. I mean, 28 IRs and the tonal palette or potential for, for different tones out of this pack is incredible. And not only that, but they are they are designed to be a drop-in mix ready. So you've got these professional producers mixing and uh, miking up these cabinets, putting the different mic combinations together, EQing them, so you can just grab this pack, drop them in a mix, and get these absolutely crushing, incredible guitar tones. Don't sleep on this one, y'all. The apps, the, the tonal pot palette and potential out of this is incredible. Don't pass this up. Hit up bograndigital.com. I'll even put a link in the description down below so you can jump straight to this pack, make it easy for you. Go check it out and grab this one because it is incredible. You heard it right there yourself. Incredible, immense, crushing tones. All right, everyone, we are gonna wrap up this video right there. I wanna hear your comments though, so drop down into the comments and let me know your thoughts on this pack. If you had a particular IR that stuck out to you that you really thought sounded good, let me know. I wanna hear about it and hit, this, hit those comments and let me know your thoughts. If you dig this video and if you like this style of content and this type of content, hit that like button right down below. And of course, consider subscribing to my channel. I've got a lot more content like this lined up and ready to go. That subscribe button is right down below. And as always, thank you for watching and thank you for your support.